I'd like to see new GTLDs for children and for cities. I don't want any more alternatives to dot-com and I don't want GTLDs to become battlegrounds for fa factions in political disputes, for example, over disputed territories. Mi familia, mi familia, mi familia, lo, lo mejor, mejor que, que tenemos. Mina casa como te imas, doctor famo a casa con otra menos domendes. Un dominio para la familia, buenas. Tú por qué la familia es la primera cosa. El objetivo fundamental de DotFam es conseguir la presencia institucional de las familias en Internet a través de un dominio específico, .fam. More than media, this could be a major step towards the creation of a real global village with a thriving marketplace. It will perhaps change the way the Internet works. So any community that has charter enforcement should be given a chance to obtain a top-level domain. However, it is critical that there is some sort of self-regulation. From a trademark lawyer's perspective, this would be similar to the way we deal with, uh, for example, certification marks and collective marks. So I think there ought to be a uh, domain name .com, and that way people who can't get into the regular .com would have one that sounds just like the one that has already had all the names taken. Wait a minute. I'll get back to you. New GTLDs that are intuitive may make internet searching easier and reduce the dependency on search engines. We will not go at the beginning to search engines until we get used to the new extensions and start using them as facilitators in a yellow page way of search. Es muy interesante que cada familia pueda tener un espacio web donde comunicarse, comprar, vender, interactuar. As the owner of a well-known brand in the UK that happens to be a not-for-profit, I'm afraid that unrestricted new GTLDs, open to anyone without adequate measures to protect the rights of others, will become virtual dustbins full of domains owned by speculators and of little use to anyone. We can't afford to register in GTLD after GTLD. There is, but, uh, there is an impression that there is a new gold rush and inevitably a risk of lawlessness. This could lead brand owners to turn their attention to the registries or even ICANN itself. Hopefully we have all learned from our past experiences and trademark owners too will view this as an opportunity rather than a risk. Domain names have grown from less than 1 million to something like 150 million in a decade. Opening up the GTLD space will bring out a new wave of creativity from brand owners. A private island on the internet will be a desirable commodity for some brands and increase the confidence of internet users. The enfranchisement of communities of interest around the world. Um, I think the real key for ICANN is to try to build value behind new domains or even old domains like .net and .org, um, even .tv, .biz. All these domains really need some more awareness, some uh, excitement, some energy because right now as a business the only domain that really matters to me is .com and I would be reticent to do .net or something else as a primary domain name unless there is no other choice available to me. Um, we have to change that, and the best way to do that is through a great marketing campaign or education campaign to get the word out and explain to consumers why these other domains are important. Currently, there are many family websites, groups of friends' websites, or those of people with shared interests. But it is appropriate to have a specific domain, one that guarantees a safe, secure family environment. We would like to make possible that from now on, each and every family has both its physical home and its cyber home. 
The ultimate goal is that any procedures, administrative tasks and connections with financial or institutional entities can be done through this website as a window from the family to the world. Many members of ICANN's current communities will apply, but I'd like to see newcomers to the process, plus some big brand owners doing exciting things as well as communities of interest from the developing world. Speculators, domainers, naval gazers, those who suffer from delusions of grandeur, those who came seconds uh, in the past, and so on, will be amongst those who will apply first. At the same time, from a commercial perspective, there is a chance for trademark owners to experience the Internet as a positive rather than a negative challenge. And more importantly, from a social perspective, there is a chance for communities of interest that command respect from the societies from which they emanate to set their signpost in the World Wide Web.